show was amazing. We got some amazing highlights. Heavy metal, yeah. Now's the time to bang your fucking head. Executed forces sentenced by the church. Final rights society as the fight begins to burn. Cursing all the holy men, the flames are going higher. No fear in her eyes as the bitch just like fire. Higher up, stop the fire. The bitch will be burned at the stake. Let's get this motherfucker moving right now. Toxic Holocaust has been a one-man black thrash operation since 1999, when it was founded by singer, guitarist, and now bassist Joel Grind, who is joined by a rotating lineup of live musicians but still handles everything on record. Now that he's been involved in the scene for almost 20 years, Joel has earned the respect of the underground and has also made some serious inroads into the mainstream. In recent years, Joel has also become well-known for his work behind the boards, engineering records for some of the biggest and most well-respected bands in punk and metal. This is one of my favorite places in the city. It's called the Morbid Anatomy Museum. This place is awesome. <laughs> they all look so mad. Oh yeah, he's dead. Of course he's mad. You've been doing this band thing for like 20 years now, right? Yeah. You started the band when you were 15, just you in your room, like every other good band that ever started. When I get really inspired for something, you know, I don't really think about it. I kind of just get like everything just starts flowing and I start writing, you know, and it's like I have the ideas for the drums, the, you know, the bass, the guitar, and it all kind of just comes together. Toxic's always been known for that. And when you start having like too many cooks in the kitchen, the vision gets smeared a little bit. Who's in the band now? Drummer's uh, Nicky Belmore. He's been with me for like nine years, like I said, and now his brother is playing guitar. I switched to bass. The bass for Tox is very simple, so. <laughs> and it makes it way easier to sing and play. When I started playing with this band again, I'm like, this is how shows should feel. People just constantly going insane, stage diving. You were doing all these weird not metal things. Yeah. I definitely like to mess around with other styles of music because, you know, I just get bored doing the same kind of thing. I feel like you've recorded or produced or like had your fingers in like most of the decent records in the past year. Yeah, I try to keep busy with that because that's something that now that I'm getting older, I don't have to tour. I'm still working with music, which I love. And I also always like the nerdy technical side of like recording gear and all that stuff. So I'm doing it as a, a job, but it's also a hobby. You know, it's not like Oh man, I gotta go record a record today. It's like I'm happy about it. I'm like excited to go work with these bands. So. Who was it? The surf rock thing you just did? Yeah, with Davey Allen. I've been a pretty big fan of Davey Allen's music for a while. Just those old 60s biker movies. Like they just always had really gnarly soundtracks. I bought a CD from him on his website and he wrote me back, you know, thanks for the order or whatever and gave me his email address. He's like in his 70s now and really cool guy. One day I was like, it would be really weird and totally left field to see if this guy would want to do a split and he was totally down for it and he sent me the tracks and then I started working on some stuff that's kind of similar to that you know but it still has like a little bit of more metal thing going on. I'm such a, a big music fan in general I just love all kinds of different kinds of music and you get all those rock and roll side projects with them. Tiger Junkies. Yeah Tiger <laughs> Junkies which like feel like no one ever brings up but it's like the coolest thing. Yeah. Yeah that one's pretty funny. That's with uh, Gazuki from Abigail. Right. And that's um, really sleazy lyrics. <laughs> Talking about doing another record. Yeah. And um, might do a show or two, too. Hey, what are some of the, the records you worked on this year? Worked on uh, Black Tusk, The Drip, all kinds of stuff. Poison Idea. What's really cool is I just did their like comeback record. And then on top of that, I just did a remix of the last record they did with Pig Champion before he died. So that was a pretty big honor. Getting to the more, you know, the bigger records coming out. You've been in this band doing this for more years than you have of it. I know. What's really weird is like, because there's never any time to do anything on tour. It's like, I think I went to Paris like six times before I saw the Eiffel Tower, <laughs> you know, stuff like that. It kind of, it's crazy. They worry about people losing interest eventually? There's definitely times where we do tours and they're definitely not as big as the tours were before. 
but then it picks back up. It's funny, it's kind of every couple years it changes. Like you see a lot of like early 20 year olds like into it and then in a few years, it's another wave of people getting into that stuff. That's so weird, you've had generations of kids being into your band. Yeah, but I like that because they're the ones that aren't like standing at the shows, their arms crossed, you know, they're like still energetic about music, excited about music, and that's kind of what fuels me to keep wanting to do it. Like when I was growing up, I'd always see like the old videos of like punk shows, like people going crazy, and I always wanted to have that kind of vibe in a band. Check, check! Brooklyn! Let's get this fucking shit in a circle pit right here. This is called Wild Dogs! Wow, fucking dogs! Thank you very fucking much. We got Patrick and Dirk here, and that was a great show. Dr. Holocaust killed it. It was the best was the being best. pushed around and just, yeah, like, just pushed everybody else. We had a great time. We, we had the best time. time.